Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Blackburn and today we're going to give you the virtual lab about uh, enumeration of soil microbes. Okay, so we are going to divide this lab in four steps. The, four, the first step is the preparation of the agar medium. And the second step will be the preparation of the cereal dilutions from soils. And then we're gonna transfer the soil suspensions from the cereal dilutions into the agar plates and incubate those agar plates for a few days for the microbes to grow. Then we will count those colonies and use those microbial counts and the amount of soil that we have uh, weighed to calculate the number of colony forming units per gram of soil. Okay, here you on my right, you will see the butaina prepared in the plates. These plates, the, 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 the medium were weighed the ingredients. Uh, we have three types of medium. We have uh, glycerol casein agar for actinomycetes. Actinomycetes, actinomycetes are a group of uh, gram-positive bacteria. And we have a general medium for bacteria also, which is a tripton um, yeast extract agar. And the, the medium for fungi will be rose bengal agar. Okay, so this is the preparation of the medium. After the preparation of the medium, we will move to prepare the cereal dilutions of soils. So the cereal dilution of soils, we will weigh 10 grams of the fresh soil in a in a bottle of uh, 95 ml of uh, 50 millimolar sodium chloride. The reason we use 50 millimolar sodium chloride is to avoid that there is any os osmotic stress that will kill some of these cells in the, from the soil. Uh, we will shake well this, this uh, soil with the water and allow the soil to settle on the on the on the bottom then we will take the suspension that is remaining of colloids in the soil and we will take that suspension two ml and we will transfer for a new 18 ml of the sodium chloride solution the saline solution then this the second tube will call bottle b from this tube we will shake and we're gonna take another two ml from the bottle B and transfer to the bottle C, which will contain 18 ml of the saline solution. And that will be bottle C and so on and so forth. So the, the first bottle will be approximately one to 10 in the sense that will be approximately uh, uh, one gram of soil per 10 ml of water. And the second bottle will be equivalent of one to 100 the third bottle will be equivalent to one to a thousand. The exact proportion we will calculate based on the soil moisture, and I will show you in a bit how to calculate. But this cereal dilution will allow us to have that the, the, um, the concentration of microbes in each bottle will be 10 times lower as we progress on the cereal dilution order. So bottle A will be 10 times more than bottle B, bottle B will be 10 times more than bottle C and so on and so forth. So we do not uh, uh, we do not know how many microbes there are and we are in the risk that they might be have be, the, there might be too many cells and the plate will be too crowded with colonies. What we want is have a uh, number of colonies uh, around 15 to uh, up to 200, 300 is fine for counting, yeah? But not less than 15 and not more than 300 colonies. And by for, in order to arrive on that amount of colonies, we do the cereal dilutions to have soils with, in, uh, uh, with increasing lower concentration of microbes, okay? So 10 grams of soil in 95 ml of water. And then from that, we move to, uh, to having uh, two mLs transferred to the next bottle with 18 mLs and so on and so forth, progressing that cereal dilutions as in the illustration you see here. Next thing we will use is the, the, the to transfer those 
uh, uh, suspensions into the plates. So we will use the first three dilutions for fungi, uh, bottles B, C, and D. And we will use the last three dilutions, bottles C, D, and E, for bacteria and actinomyces. For the fungi, as you see here on my right, you will see that um, there is, uh, we were going to use the pour plate method, which means that we're going to add the medium first, then we're going to add the rose bengal agar warm before it solidifies, and we will mix that in the plate, allow it to solidify, so the, the sus soil suspension is mixed with the agar medium, and then uh, we will, uh, after solidify, we will cover and allow it to uh, dry a little bit and invert it and um, keep it for in the incubator for a few days before we can count the number of colonies. So uh, for the bacteria and actinomyces, we will use uh, uh, one, one observation for the fungi, we use one ml yeah, of the suspension. For the bacteria and actinomyces, we will use 0.1 ml per plate of the suspensions of the bottles C, D, and E. And uh, we will uh, inoculate this 0.1 ml, 100 microliters, into the plates, and we're gonna use sterile pipette tips and sterile spreaders. Spreaders are just, we use um, plastic spreaders that already come sterile. And then we are going to use one sterile spreader per plate. Yeah? We're going to use three replicates for each uh, medium and for each dilution. Um, after we have this uh, well spread and homogenized on the surface of the plate, we will cover this plate, invert it, and bring it for the incubator for at least three days to allow the microbes to grow before we can count them. Um, Reminding that we have two different solidified agar medium, one for general bacteria, which is tripton uh, yeast extract, and the, the, the second medium will be glycerocasein agar, which will, which will be more specific for uh, actinomyces, which is a subgroup of the, the bacteria. So for the calculations you will have here, the, this is the figure of the zero dilution, you will calculate what is the oven dry weight of your uh, soil. The oven dry weight you will calculate using this formula. You have the soil moisture that you obtain by drying your soil in the oven. And you use this formula that is here for obtaining the oven dry weight. Once you have the oven dry weight, you will, let's say from the, in our example here, we have that in 10 grams of soil that we added, because we had the 20% moisture, uh, we, we had eight grams of soil and two grams of water. So you end up that in bottle A, you will have eight grams of soil and 97 ml of water. The, the 95 is what you added, and the two for the 97 comes with the soil. So eight grams of soil, 97 of water, of course, this is for this example, depending on the soil moisture that you have, if you have more than 20%, less than 20%, that will be uh, changing this calculation. If it's drier, it will become closer than to one to 10, or uh, depending on the moisture, you will change this calculation. But this is the equivalent of the, the grams of soil per ml in bottle A. So when you transfer two ml of bottle A to bottle B, you end up to having 10 times less concentration on, uh, uh, of, of suspended particles in soil in, in, in bottle B than you would have in bottle A, so on and so forth for bottle C and bottle D. Now you have the number of colonies that you calculated on the plate that you have. Let's say you were counting uh, a plate that was originated from bottle D you have the number of colonies in a plate divided by the volume plated. You will have here uh, a CFU per ml. Yes, CFU per ml in the bottle D. And then, in order to calculate how much is CFU per grams of soil, you will divide the CFU per ml by the value that you have here in bottle D, which is uh, grams of soil per ml. So you end up you end up losing the ml on this 
calculation and you remain with CFU per gram of soil. So this is how you arrive to the, the, the calculation of uh, CFU per grams of soil considering the soil moisture. If, you're, uh, if you want to just a rough estimate, you, you can just go instead of calculating using the soil moisture, you can just use 1 to 10, 1 to 100, and so on and so forth without um, the need of uh, considering the soil moisture in this situation. So this is what I had to bring for you today. Uh, if you have any doubts, just uh, put a Moodle and I will try to clarify later on. Thank you very much.